Hey guys, welcome back to another Blender tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a random UV mapping on duplicated materials, on duplicated meshes, sorry. So on the same material, you can just duplicate the mesh, like so, and this will be a completely different UV map, so it won't look identical like, like that. So let's get straight into it. So what we're going to want to do first is obviously we have the texture on it already, and we want to open this in the shading tab, so we'll select it and go up here to shading, like so. And if you don't see these nodes here, what you're going to want to do is just tick the use nodes there, like that. So I'm just going to select the image texture here and hit Control T to get the texture coordinates and mapping for this. Then we'll just select these and move them over to the left to give ourselves a bit of space here. Then out of this vector node here we're going to just Shift A and search to add something and we're going to get a separate XYZ coordinate to node sorry, to then change the vector into the math nodes so we can then manipulate the x, the y, and the z coordinates. So then we're going to get Shift A again and add. Now we're going to get a combine x, y, z to put all these back together into a vector node and plug that vector into the image texture there. And then in, in the middle of this, we're just going to manipulate these values like I said earlier. So first off, we're just going to Shift A, search, and get a math node like so. And this will let us add two values together. So we're going to get three of these, so Control c and Control v to duplicate like that and plug the x into the top value, the top one, y to the top value of the middle one and z in the top value of the bottom one like so. And then for the bottom value what we're going to do is Shift A and search and get an object info node and off of this we're just going to use the random node at the bottom and plug that into the bottom value of all of these. Then we're going to plug in the appropriate ones over here again. So the X one obviously goes to X, the Y goes back into Y, and Z goes back into Z, like so. You can see this now looks normal again. And now that should be all done. So I'm just going to move that back over like so. Like I say, this should now be done. So if we go back to the Layout tab up here and duplicate this again, so Control c Control v you can see that this has changed. Control c Control v it's looking different each time. Now obviously you might have better textures which will look better with it through like a wall or wood floors or rocks or something but this does work. So you can see it's in the bottom right corner there, it's in the middle there, it's down there, it's over here. So it is different each time we do this. So obviously again it will look better and look different with each different texture but for me this still works and looks good. So that'll be it for this video, it's a very quick one, it's just a very simple thing, but again this works, if we duplicate it looks different. And it was just as quick and simple as this. So that'll be it for this video, I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found it helpful, and if you did make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.